Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of May, as usual, I have a special sales offer available and this one it's inspired um, in your current season, uh, abundant Taurus season. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box below or you can email me with your questions and if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below. So Taurus, here for mid-May I feel like some of you are being asked, invited to um, reinvent yourselves at a certain level to take you out of situations, to take you out of patterns, environments, relationships that are, you know, pushing you down, that are generating in you this emotional, constant discomfort. I feel like for many uh, Taurus here, there's this huge emotional discomfort that is taking a toll on you or has been taking a toll on you slowly, gradually, but intensely. And what I'm picking on here for many of you is that you're reaching a point where you cannot take something anymore because it's so uncomfortable. So situations, uh, I'm sorry, relationships where you are very uncomfortable, where you don't feel like you can be your true self or where you, for any given reason, you don't feel like um, comforted in those associations. For those of you that are trying to tolerate this, you know, this job, this responsibility, this project that is not making you happy, that it's actually making you feel quite disturbed, the, um, the next weeks are going to push you into an understanding that perhaps what you need to do is to start something brand new or to reinvent yourselves and reinvent your life in different ways. So that feeling, that emotion of being constantly here on the low or on the loss, yeah, because I feel like for some of you tourists, there's this sensation of always being in the losing end of certain things. So that you change that narrative. The Ace of Wands is your main opportunity for the next weeks, which is beautiful, because you have this huge potential. Energetically, there's this huge potential for a passionate new beginning to rise, and you rising with this fire, you rising with this new beginning, with this new endeavor, new relationship, new passion, new hobby, new levels of stamina even, and energy to get things going differently. But this is an energy that it's fighting this very two negative forces, being that the Ten of Swords is your challenge and the Five of Cups is your advice. You have to push through the negativity, the darkness, the sadness, the weeping around, you know, um, things that you can't change. Emotionally, crying over spilled milk is something that it takes you out of the right frequency where you can gain so much. And I feel like for, for many of you, Taurus, there's even this thing that you just want support, you know, a listening friend or, you know, a... Uh, um, a shoulder to cry on. I feel like um, many of you Taurus here, there's this huge issue of just not feeling that you have the support to do something amazing or exciting that you actually want to do or to, that you don't have um, the resources, the tools to truly, you know, get something going that you really want that can be this amazing project, this, you know, idea here to build something to go somewhere that for you is very exciting it's like a lack of something that takes you down and the point here is to reinvent something that can um contribute positively to your growth because your growth is very much about change and how you move through change and how you allow change to show you different sides, um, positive sides, you know, surprising sides that can bring you out of things that you're so used to that um, it feels right when, you know, it isn't right or something that shouldn't happen keeps happening. 
because there's a lack of perhaps even courage here for some of you to really break free from this. So your challenge is the Ten of Swords. You could be feeling down, depressed, betrayed, or simply, again, you're struggling with an ending that needs to occur or that has recently occurred. There's an ending here that has a point to, to create new opportunities. It's like clearing up space for the Ace of Wands to break. There's a huge break for you, Taurus, but there needs to be ground for it to happen. There needs to be proper space. So whatever ends, it might at times again feel like a huge loss or something that, you know, makes you so sad. But in reality, I feel like you're going to be checking in constantly with this understanding that, you know, you're not a victim of situations that end right now or are just not working. Actually, I feel like there's something here about you have allowed something to reach this point where inevitably it's going to end or inevitably you have to let it go so that you can continue to grow, so that you can, can continue to have the things that you most desire, success, passion, um, you know, feeling like um, there's a purpose with you. Feeling like you're in control here also, because the Ace of Wands is an energy feeling so much in control of our own destiny, right? So this is what is working against positive change. Now, the Ten of Swords can also be here implying that... I feel like maybe for some of you, you have been through something um, tragic. So there could have been here, you know, an ending associated with a loss, with a physical loss of someone important in your life. It could be that this is an ending associated with just a phase that you keep looking back at as, you know, the phase you wish to go back to or to where you only, you know, saw, you know, your best self there or your best, you know, experiences there so there's a, there's a there's an issue in seeing beyond the past for for uh positive or more negative reasons in which you look the lenses that you used to look to the past the past is such a huge thing that controls so many of you Taurus that the excitement the beauty of tomorrow is so for many of you, it's like you don't you don't value uh, the future so much as you value the past, and so there's the the problem with that is just that in between, so in the present time, you're not um, in the frequency where you're creating um, new things, new opportunities, new relationships. You're not creating. Um, with the flow of life, you know what I mean? It's like you're, you're, you're holding back from the true potential that awaits you. And for some of you, it's like you're holding back from, you know, you're, you're exploring your talents, exploring your capacities at, you know, a certain level. Some of you are very passionate souls, but this passion is contained I feel like there's something here, this is an actual energy of a coffin. So something has been buried here. And for many of you, it's, you know, the, the suppression of your, of your passion um, buried under grief. And this can be literal grief. Or this can be, you know, grieving, um, of things that you're so sad about and I feel like for some reason even even if this is something that you are aware of and you have been trying to positively overcome for some reason this next week's can bring you um, a reminder of the work that needs to be done um, it can bring you a reminder of past losses it can 
there can be this 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 challenge this test right to um invite you to old ways invite you back to negative thinking negative emotional pattern um invite you to this experience of loss at a certain level and this is what your you're asked to avoid and to to um, when you're feeling down during this next weeks to really understand where this is coming from. If in mid May you move through a difficult situation, there's this huge feeling here that you're going to be able to come back from it. So whatever happens. Your, your opportunity is the ace of wands, is to take charge, take control, break free, do new things. And everything that it's new, everything that represents the opposite of the past and of your past self is extremely advice here to help you in this journey. So I hope you have a great mid-month. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.